Yes guys, what is happening and welcome back to videos on the Teg. So today what I want to do is I want to go through a little brief talk around what we're going to do to the car, what could you expect to see on the channel and uh, hopefully where we're going to take this thing. I'm not going to, don't take this as bread and butter truth on um, what is, what I'm saying today is going to happen, will happen because you obviously never know around the corner but what I hopefully I say today is what I'm going to try and go for but uh, yeah. So first things first, whilst we look at the car you can see you can see everything here so first things first which i want to sort out is the appearance um the thing that that i want to have is my own personality on things and i find that a stock car apart from the wheels which james put these wheels on and they're absolutely lovely i just want to have my personality on it so at the minute it still looks like james's car so i'm gonna try and put my little imprint on it so uh one thing that does annoy me a little bit is one front wheel stick out absolutely loads so we've got massive camber when i go around corners the car hooks like you wouldn't believe honestly when i send it around a corner or an island it is people don't like the terms rails but it it honest to god it hooks it it's better on corners than it is on straights because the camber is so aggressive so we've got 17 by 9 j on the front running about three and a half 3.4 degrees camber which is massive inner wear um and then on the rear you hopefully you can see the rears are like i think the seven or eight j so they're quite sucked in as you can see like just from the video hopefully you can see how much they're stuck in by so i would like to potentially maybe sell these and get some 17 by 9 maybe and then probably roll the arches or something just to i just want that flush look i don't really like I'm not too keen on the staggered look it's not a deal breaker by any chance so whatever will be maybe even change the color while we're there um shadow chrome a dark gray I, I don't know they're quite nice to be fair um i do like black but obviously you lose the you lose the color of the wheel and i just don't want to i like these wheels these apparent supposedly these are genuine there's a lot of fakes going around and stuff so i take his word for it because the car's absolutely mint so if he was going to lie about anything he would lie about how dodgy the car is but it's not so um yeah hopefully you can see me or right. hopefully i'm uh, in frame and stuff um on my camera it says it's left so hopefully this doesn't mess up the audio or anything so i'll try and mess about with it in uh in the editing suite so yeah um first things gotta sort out the the wheels and that just to make them i do like these wheels i think it all between these i think it's the work emotions um or like the bowler kind of work wheels but they're expensive so like let's not even get into that because that is like absolutely mad money um so yeah things that things that like relatively cheap so we'll start from the front and work our way around so headlights they're starting to crust a little bit so they could do with um a little let's let's take should I take you off i don't know if take you off the mount so headlights get them polished up and that get them looking nice we do get a bit of like water ingress steam inside them so probably not the best um but yeah let's give you a little walk around so you can see what what's what and we'll go from there right then so let's take you along to the front so i must say the teg is a beautiful looking car lot like, without a doubt stock these do look unreal i want to be different as you know i want to be out there i want it to have more personal touch so first thing i don't see many with the toe straps hanging like this this is a very cool idea so james smashed it with that even the splitter i think it's just a universal splitter but you know what it makes such a difference on on the car just having that contrasting lip so I do believe you can get different style lips so some some in america they have like this lip it just looks like this lower lip can be attached so some of them like come across here and go down and stuff and like make it all aggressive so first thing i'd like to do not in any particular order by the way um is bumper if you know about these cars and stuff there is loads of different bumpers loads of different aftermarket bumpers which is what i love the only thing that i'd say i slacked on the meg was every meg looked exactly the same no matter if it had a different spoiler different splitter there was only like so many variations of things you could do like it was either a maxton splitter or a pure track splitter or a rubber lip that was it this there's bumpers there's lips there's splitters there's so much shit to buy for these cars and that is what i love so uh hopefully mugen bumper which if you google mugen bumper you can see i'll try and add a little picture of it now so you can kind of see what it looks like some people say it looks like a fish i do agree i think it looks like the new golf uh r mark 8. is it mark 8? i think it's mark 8. i get mixed up because there's that many golfs um 
it's got like a yawning kind of gurn kind of thing on it so that's the first thing i'd like to do is change the bumper just to like i say stock it's a beautiful looking car but i want to be different i want to be a bit different so second carbon bonnet um there's so so many different variants of carbon bonnets you get the ones with the little cutouts here and the little fin there i want i'd like a sebion carbon bonnet if possible um so yep that would be absolutely wicked so for the front really bonnet bumper bonnet that's probably it for the front you know to be honest um maybe depending on the bumper um canard so we'd have some winglets there um little fancy splitter i've already saw it and everything so i know i know what we're doing but give it time you'll see it too so then we make our way to the side so as i said earlier with the aggressive camber because the front wheels are so big like the camber has to be aggressive like when i messed about with the coilovers ages ago um it messed about with the camber and the camber was like one and a half degrees this side and three degrees that side and this wheel stuck out so much like there must have been about an inch of the wheel hanging out obviously that's illegal and stuff so one thing i would love to get there's vented arches you can get so it's 20 mil wider so hopefully it sticks out a bit more it has like a bit of fancy grill kind of thing going on here still looks good but it's not like stupidly like aggressive like i don't want it to look like a proper proper race car but i want it to look honest if people see the car i want to go yeah man that looks nice it looks different so wider wings is definitely a thing um you can get you can get carbon wings but obviously that's a different ball game that's like 1500 quid for wings so um yeah if anyone wants to donate a just giving page we'll get some carbon wings that would be absolutely amazing uh mirror covers i think you can get little little small ones and that but to be honest with you these do the trick so that is not a problem um i have found a fancy side skirt that it looks similar to this and then it literally just pops up here i don't know the name of it or the brand of it yet but i know it's something that i am going to be looking into um to get and then i think from the front and the side i think that's pretty much it to be honest so well let's take you around the rear right then so rear of the car uh like i say loads of different variants of um parts to get so i want to get a different lower lip so you keep you keep the um standard bumper and i believe it's just this section that comes off um, there is quite a few variants there is some people that cut half the bumper off and literally just have metal pieces and then like a little carbon diffuser kind of thing but i think it looks a bit too much but with all the other bits it might tie in quite well but the one that i'm looking for is i think it might be a mugen rear lip so it literally like comes up here it goes across here and then comes down and like this bit here is black so you could put like um it's got like a little triangle section in the middle so you could put like a little river you know like a racing light that flashes and i think it looks quite nice um I'm not talking about exhaust and that yet but i would like a big cannon you know like on the ep3s where they have a big massive cannon a big low swooping exhaust so i would either like obviously we shoot flames and that in this so i don't want a dolphin fin tip that shoots it at the floor i kind of want to see big massive girthy shots so um yeah the badging i'm not sure like it does look nice with the badges but i don't know uh spoiler this is a tough one because i feel like i'm bending over loads the spoiler is i think it's quite an iconic spoiler like I'm not going to get into all the dribs and drabs because I'm not an automotive, automotive like, kind of vlogger, but I'm just a knobhead with a camera. I do like this spoiler, but I think with the diffuser, the wings, the front bumper, the bonnet, I think go for a little aftermarket kind of buff. buff. They do do a Mugen, Mugen one, but the thing I don't like about it, the base points, like they're quite chunky. If you've obviously got a Teg or you know about Tegs, they have like a big fat base plate that sits on the spoiler and it looks a bit silly because you've got a big massive chunky bit of plastic and then it goes into thin metal so i'll probably go for something a bit different maybe obviously i'm not 100 percent set because this is this is one that's like a 50 50 kind of thing um obviously big it's like a big greenhouse man honestly this tower gate is mad you can get a fiberglass one or you can buy a carbon one if you've got three and a half grand carbon one would be absolutely sick but let's be fair money's got to go elsewhere in it really if we're uh, yeah lights i love the lights they're not changing the lights it's just a nice just a nice looking car so yeah uh, a bit more hop inside and uh, show you what potentially could be done inside 
Right then, so, hopefully you can see me. So, steering wheel, I, I don't know. Um, my mate with the FN2 has got, I think it's personalized steering wheels, I think. Um, they do feel quite nice, so probably will look to go down that kind of route. Um, as the car's blue, I would like a kind of black Alcantara with a blue stitching kind of feel. But with this wheel, when I'm sending it, I feel like I have to hold on for dear life. So that will be something that... Um, will but I do find it's quite tight on my legs so I, this is a real tough one because like obviously I'm going to hop in now so you can but hopefully you can see me can you see me can you see me yes hopefully this mic's doing all right it's saying it's coming out the right so hopefully it doesn't um I feel like my legs like I haven't got big legs at all like my legs are like chicken legs so let me try. I don't want to show you my I don't want to show you my shaft but like I feel like these proper push on your bolster like it's not like if you've ever sat in pole positions the they're, they're quite up whereas these kind of like bevel kind of things so you feel like it's proper pushing your legs together like imagine wearing a tight skirt that's probably what i'd say it feels like not that i've put on a skirt before um but yeah so we've got it's a shame really because they are like banging seats like they really are as a stock seat, you have to get the blue ones, the black ones, or the red ones. Um, obviously, mine's blue edition, so we have got blue. Um, but insides, this is a tough one because the Megan, with its club sport feel, didn't really feel rickety and annoying. Like it, obviously, I had the back stripped out and stuff like that, so it had it carpeted and it was felt nice. But this, this feels like a tin of beans, and I've still got all the interior in, so. I might take the back seats out, see how it feels. I might carpet the back and then see how it feels. And then I might put a cage in. I, I, I don't know with this one, honestly. Like a cage is probably like the last thing on the list if it is going to be a, a thing. But I do see uh, Driftworks do pole positions in blue, like the same colour blue. So they would be unbelievable, to be fair. Um, but obviously, it's whether I sell these seats and then it's like I feel like the car's a timepiece. So I don't want to ruin it. So whatever I may be a boy, for the car, I'm gonna stick the standard bits in the loft because I don't wanna ruin this one. Honestly, I know the Meg looked absolutely naughty, but the mistake I made, I sold all the bits because I'm a tight bastard. And then when I come to sell it, I was like, I've got to sell all the bits on it and stuff. So um, I could have put it back to standard. So uh, yeah, really, um, probably maybe, maybe door cards. I don't know, probably not the door cards, I don't think, but yeah. Uh, blue pole position, same color as the seats. What are you saying? These are nice seats, man. So it's it's a tough one. Um, and then we come to so we've already got the Poco knob from Acuity. Defo, check them out. This is a little. This feels lovely. Like I could feel like I could change gear any possible. Whereas the Skunk one I had, I felt like I was like a little claw hammer. So yeah, um, this is just the Acuity knob, but we have got one insert in. Um, obviously that's a different ball game but this is defo a really nice knob they do do the um the short shifting kit so obviously you change all the module inside and stuff so that probably will be one of the things i'm definitely getting that because i feel like it's still there's a lot of movement and we want buff 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 um so yeah that'll be it that'll be a, another little cheeky video um whether i see a lot of them run it without this and i'm like Mm, I don't know if it looks a bit unfinished when they have all this ripped out and stuff So I would like to keep it as OEM plus as possible I saw some company does like a carbon surround Which that would probably be nice because obviously if you take this off you're gonna have just a big gaping hole Don't get me wrong the acuity shifter does look really nice, but It's just gonna have metal showing us stuff. so yeah, I think I'll probably uh, look to get it a surround or something um, and then we have obviously our vents these look like closest thing to a gtr i'm gonna have these look like gtr kind of vents so uh yeah at the minute we got a single din um i see why people blank these off and get rid of the radio because the car just sings its tits off 
a bobwood lock, maybe a double din, or what I was thinking is I'll hide that and put that like in the glove box or hide that. If we do upgrade the ECU, I was thinking maybe um, get an iPad, get an iPad on some brackets, and then I could just run a USB and an aux lead and just have an iPad here, and then I could have my gauges. And I don't know what I need gauges for, but we'll get to that in a minute. Um, so yeah, or I could get Manny, get Manny to make me a little pillar pod oil coolant and something else. Um, but yeah, I think inside we're pretty much done. I don't think there's too much to do, to be fair, inside. Um, but yeah, let's uh, get to the party piece, which you're probably wondering what is going to happen. And so, first things first, so let me talk to you about it. Um, we have a tuned DC5, so it's roughly running 230 brake horsepower with 160 pound foot of torque um, so we have an rbc inlet manifold we have a tegua carbon fiber induction kit we have a four to one tegua no we have a four to one piper manifold and then we have a fujitsu two and three quarter inch all the way back so we have a resonator and a bat box and it does sound lovely <sighs> how do i put it this sounds like so bad look this is my personal opinion yeah so if you think different then that is totally up to you under 5000 rpm this feels like my first car i feel like there is no power i feel like you have to redline it everywhere as you probably know if you own a honda anything under 6k don't even try if you're trying to race something or whatever it may be don't even bother um above 6k that is a different matter it is literally like stroking a cat and then swinging it around by its tail that is what it feels like not that i've done that um but you know when a cat goes absolutely mad like it's absolutely ready to rock after 6k this thing is an absolute riot so under 6k it's not that fun over 6k that's where the party gets started so my issue um my mate's got a 356 brake FN2 with a M factory diff and let me just say it is unbelievable. Um, so supercharging, do I want to supercharge it? It is a tough one. Hopefully you can see me. I'm going to sit on the bonnet. Hopefully you don't burn me asshole. Um, but let me try and... So am I going to keep it NA? Are we going to go K24, keep it NA? Nah, I want the noise. Supercharge, yes. I do like the supercharge, like my mate's one is absolutely sick. Like, if turbo wasn't out there, then I think I would go supercharged. But I think my heart lies with a turbo. So this is, the, this is where it's going to get fun. Um, I want to turbocharge this car. So if anyone knows about turbocharging, anyone's turbocharged an EP3, whatever it may be, slide into the DMs, comment down below. Please let me know because I want to do a DIY turbo build. I'm not looking to get the cheapest turbo. I'm not looking to do cheap bits. I want to make sure it's proper. Obviously, this is a good solid car with no rust. It is 107,000 miles, but honestly, it is immaculate. Um, I will show you up close and personal this car. And when you see it in real life, you'll go, it is exactly how it was on the video. Whereas there's some cars that you watch on video and then they look in real life and they look tat. But this definitely ain't that car. Um, so all I know at the minute that we need, I've got a Hon, I think mine's Honda or a K100. I can't remember for the life of me because I'm not this Honda guy yet. Um, so we've got, but I've been told to change the ECU for a K Pro or something like that. So obviously you guys, are gonna know about this shit so you can let me know um so tegua induction kit that's gonna be gone because we're either gonna run just a cone straight off the turbo or we ain't even gonna run a turbo uh, a cone so first thing first turbo pulsar g25 i'm seeing pulsar do a gt30 something x um so i'm probably looking at the pulsar route maybe um or Precision turbo, I don't know. I don't know if it's better to get a smaller turbo that spools up quicker or have one with a bit of lag. Um, so 
I don't know on turbos really. I'm not going to go Garrett and pay up my ass just for a name. So probably not going to go that route. So uh, we're going to go turbo, uh, sound wider kit. I know quite a few companies do them. Um, so obviously I don't know which one I'm going to go for yet and obviously what setup I kind of need. Um, so I know I need turbo, I need side winder kit. I think my ECU is good to work on, but obviously I don't think I can monitor stuff with the, the iPad and stuff, which is what I refer to about getting an iPad. Um, I get a full three inch exhaust. Um, there is quite a lot of fabricators out there that do beautiful exhaust systems. So we'll be having a three inch system with the can, as I mentioned earlier, screamer pipe, I don't, I really, really wanted one, but then I saw a couple of videos of people running them and they just shoot loads of shit up the bonnet um, out on the windscreen and I'm like, uh, but I do want to see flames come out the bonnet. So yeah, the only problem is if I get a carbon bonnet, I'm gonna have to cut the bonnet, which I don't really want to pay a thousand pound for a bonnet and then start cutting the bonnet up. So yeah, that is a different ball game. Um, yeah, then we've got, we've got to get a uh, oil feed and then a coolant feed. So we've got to take the sump off, get the sump drilled out, put a connector on that. Uh, I'm hoping the diff will be okay. That's what I mean. I'd have to get wider wings to get the camber sorted because I don't think I want more than, I don't think I want more than two degrees camber with a turbo because I don't want it to be spinning up and stuff. Um, obviously the M factory diff in James's car is absolutely unbelievable. Um, I'm trying to get it on the channel guys. So hopefully we'll see that in the near future. Um, yeah, I don't really know what is needed as much. So if someone comment down below, you need a map sensor, um, all kind, all kind of, sh of shit. So uh, yeah, if you could let me know what kind of stuff I need. Um, we're gonna do this tur turbo build, hopefully. I don't plan to do this like the McGann and take forever and ever and ever and ever. I do want to get into the content and start blasting it out. So whether we do a couple of mods here and there, and then we get the reviews on the channel, do some driving and that, I think that'd be really good for the channel. So uh, yeah, we'll see what we can do. Right, and uh, I'm just trying to think of things that I can think of right now off the top of my head. Um, Nankang AR1s, I feel like are a brilliant tyre. When it's slightly damp or slightly cold, I feel like these are dog shit. The only thing that's good is the sidewalls are so hard. I feel like when you go around a corner, the tyre the isn't folding. Whereas I found with the PS4s on the Megane, obviously it gripped that well round corners. The tyre felt like it wanted to come off the rim. like. Um, so I don't know what I'm going to go for next. Like I do like that the semi-slick kind of sell because one, it looks sick. Like if you look at a car, like me anyway, if I see fancy tires on a car, I go proper. Like, do you know what I mean? So um, I don't know what tires. I'm going to go Goodyear, a Asymmetric 5s or Eagle F1s. I can't remember. I think Asymmetric 5s are Continental. But yeah, either Eagle F1s or PS4, PS5s or we'll go with some AR1s. The Toyo Triple R8, yes, they did. They were quite soft, so they did handle quite well, and they did disperse the water a lot better. But the amount of tyre you actually get on there for the money, I don't think I could go Toyos again. Um, yeah, and I think brakes are pretty much spot on. To be fair, um, I can't. I think the Paget or DS2500 pads with some drilled and grooved discs. Um, so yeah, I think. I think that's it to be honest with you. 